Yeah, there's been a lot of racial tension surrounding CCSD. Last month, we saw two students arrested for making threats against black students. Uh, and just two weeks ago, we saw a board of trustee come under fire for saying colored people instead of people of color. Uh, and it sparked a conversation about race uh, and understanding diversity in black culture uh, at CCSD. CCSD Superintendent Jesus Jara says recent threats and comments made about black students won't be taken lightly by Clark County School District. And on Saturday, he sat down with the NAACP to discuss creating an environment that all students can flourish in. Our children need to be protected, as I said, and need to feel comfortable when they come to school and learn. So it's something that we take seriously. Recently, CCSD has been at the center of controversy. On March 19th, police arrested two students accused of making violent and racially charged threats at our Arborview High. Then a CCSD trustee came under fire for this comment. The other one is the safety of colored students. And Superintendent Jara confirmed Saturday that they are looking into claims that an African-American teacher at Thurman White Academy referred to black students in the class as slaves during a geography lesson. We have to work together to make sure all of our kids are protected because they belong to all of us. Roxanne McCoy is the president of the Las Vegas NAACP chapter. The public meeting also allowed questions and comments from those who attended. Superintendent Jara listened as the group expressed their concerns. Things that take place with other children don't take place with our children. We're at the bottom of all the wrong lists and at the top of all the wrong lists, and it's time for that to change. Jara admits that when you look at statistics for curriculum success rates and disciplinary action taken with students, there's a disproportionate gap between black CCSD students and those of other ethnicities. Not only academic and achievement data, but also our, um, our suspension and expulsion data. Is, is, there's a lot of disproportionality. It's something that, you know, under my administration, we have targeted to make sure that we address. Yeah, Superintendent Jara says that in the next month or so, he plans to roll out uh, a plan and training for principals at all CCSD schools on a district-wide disciplinary uh, policy that would make it even across the board. He says his only focus is making sure all students are treated equally and have access to a fair education. I'm reporting live, Gabby Hart, News 3. All right. We will